All right, let me teach you how to use API key for free in N8N. Now, many of you, you would require to uh, API keys to run an AI agent or whatever chart model you're using. Now, to test it out, you want to first try it out before you purchase, you know, the actual API from the models, right? From OpenAI, or Claude. So I have a method where you can get a free API keys, but keep in mind, whenever I say free API keys, which means they are, uh, you know, limiting, like it's limited version. I mean, you can use it, but it's a limited time. You know, there's going to be the rate limits, of course. All right. The first thing what you want to do is go to the openrouter.ai. I'm going to leave the link in the description. You can check that out. So openrouter.ai. Now you can create account and under the account, you can go to the come to the models or directly go to the keys. Now, when you go to the models, right? So let me just click on the models and here the models which have the free at the end. Now it's going to tell you free at the end. Let me just show you. Now you can see it right here. It says open AI GPT OS 20 billion free. Now, the only free versions or gift versions you only that you can use the API, you know, you can fetch the API keys and it has a rate limit. Okay. Now you simply click on it. And when you click on it, go to the API section. Here you have something called API. And when you do that, it's going to ask you to create an API. Now, also keep in mind, you need to get the base URL if you are running an open AI, you know, the node inside the NA10, but I'm just going to show you a better way. So go here and click on create API key. And once you create an API key, what you want to do is come back and let me just show you a basic workflow. All right. Now that you see, I have filled the details and I have got the data. So let me just pin the data to access it to the, another model. Now here, there's nothing there after the form submission. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this plus icon and here you want to go to the AI and here you simply type in whatever model you want. But keep in mind, since we are using open router, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in an open uh, router chat model. Now you can see we have got the open router chat model. I'm just going to click here, click on it. And then the credentials, I have added the credentials. Now, since you copy the API key, come here, click on the add credentials and come here, paste the API key and click on save. It should show the connection is good. Now, one more thing you want to do, which is to change the model by default, it's going to be in a paid models, uh, which you cannot literally fetch, uh, you know, whatever data, you know, you can post or get the data. So, which is why you want to change the model to free version, which I'm going to do right now. So here you can see, I can switch to any model from Z AI to Claude Quinn and I have, uh, you know, Google Gemma, even Google Gemma. So let me just go here. And, but the thing is, what are the free versions are there only that you can use and it's a rate limited. So I'm just going to select the Google Jamma 2, 9 billion, uh, which is a free. And let me just go back and here. So we have got the chat model right here. Since we have the model and we have to click uh, get the agent. So let me just go here and get the agent. All right. We have got the agent. Go back to the. So right now you can see our form is connected to the agent. Now agent is asking to connect to the chat model. So I'm just going to do that. So I'm just going to simply drag and drop and that's it now you can uh, you know add memory and tools so let's just check if the api which we got from open router is working fine or not so let me just pin the data so let me just go back and here go to the agent and here uh, let me just go to the define below all right good now prompt user message uh, take this name and drag and drop right here Okay, uh, simple, simple message. I just want to check if it's working or not. So I'm going to just execute this step. All right, cool. Now you can see if I go to the logs, we are getting the outputs. The input is, uh, you know, greet. So output is hello, Raj. Okay, so I'm just going to write some more greet and ask some questions. Click on execute step. Now you can see it is working fine, but you don't have uh, much of, you know, the capabilities the other models can do in a free version. Although it is free, it's going to rate limit you for some particular time. Let's, let's just say if you're, you know, constantly running at 10 queries a minute or an hour, it's going to rate limit you, which is why you need to go for other model. But if you want to test it out, if you want to check a workflow, uh, you know, working fine or not. So in this case, you can do that with the open router APIs. So there's literally um, 
you know if i go back and go to the model and here if i you know you can see all these things right so we have agentic for free and then we have uh, even the meta llama cloud i think cloud is not available okay cloud is not available but cloud is very good DeepSeek, we have DeepSeek. i use it DeepSeek, and then we have got the current models right here by the way if you want to learn and automation completely i have made it two hour three hour full course from scratch to teach you from scratch uh, it's a beginner friendly tutorial you can learn every single thing and you know i have taught every single thing about uh, ni10 including building we're gonna be building a sellable ai workflow which you can sell to business owners in live so i have shown every every single thing which you which is very good okay so you can go here go to the, my homepage, and or if you can go to the ni10 playlist automation tutorial playlist and you can watch this try so even had the uh, you know timestamps to for better navigation all right guys this is how you you know use free api keys inside n8n and with that said if you have any question comment below and hit the like button subscribe catch you on the next one